Other Royals fans, Eric Jesperger here. A pregame interview with interim head coach Jason Binkley ahead of tonight's series opener against the Newfoundland Growlers. Coach, your club overnight travel coming back from Glens Falls, New York. Now you get a chance to open up another series here at home. Your takeaways from last night's game against the Thunder. Uh, to state the obvious, we're still struggling to score goals, but improvement because we got two instead of one. Uh, so we'll take that for what it's worth, but we just need to be more competitive. We need to be more physical. We need to do the little things better. And that's where we're struggling right now. And that's what I'm trying to reiterate to them and trying to get those details in practice. Um, you know, offensively, it's like we get in the O zone and we just forget how to play hockey all of a sudden. And I have some principles in place, but like it, they're not set in stone. They're there for a guideline. And now we just need to find some confidence and get the puck in the back of the net. And you'll look to do so tonight in front of Anson Thornton, who will prepare for his home debut as a Royal with the transaction Nola Meyer to Lehigh Valley this morning. What are you looking to see in particular to your defense in front of Thornton to settle in from the start and also play well in front of the rookie netminder? Uh, yeah, Anson obviously came in from a different organization uh, with what's going on above us. Things are out of our control, so we we're fortunate enough to get him in here and even last weekend in Wheeling, he played well. We just, once again, had no run support for him. Um, but defensively, we've been fine. We've been averaging giving up two goals a game. And if you give up two goals a game in any level of professional hockey, like you're going to be okay. It's just now we have to score some goals for him. And, you know, with this Newfoundland team that we haven't seen for a while, they're more skilled. They've got a little bit more speed than maybe what we've seen. But defensively, we have to protect the middle of the ice, keep them to the outside. I know people are probably looking at the the score sheets and seeing 35 40 shots against but of those shots how many are high quality shots we're giving a lot of stuff up from the outside which is what we want and it's easy for our goalies to see and react and save and like i'll give that stuff up all day i don't really care what the, the shot clock says at the end but we just have to keep protecting the middle of the ice which is where most goals are scored um, and doing a good job there a special teams battle will prepare starting tonight with this series. It's the Growlers, the third best power play going up against your penalty kill, which is seventh best in the ECHL entering tonight. Where will you see the special teams play a factor and any blueprint ahead of this series against this Growlers power play? Well, that's that's been a message even since I took over is power play, penalty kill, like special teams. We got to find a way to contribute. Penalty kill has done that on their side of things. Power play has not done that on their side of things. So we need to find a way to get clicking offensively with our power play, scoring a goal here and there. Defensively on our PK, we stick to our structure. We stick to our game plan. You know, they have one extra player. So that's just the way it goes. And uh, for us, with our structure, we try to cover as much as we can, and we try to force them and be predictable for ourselves. We want to dictate what they do with the puck, so we've done a good job of that um, lately, and hopefully that continues because these three games are massive for the standings. Coach, appreciate the time. Best of luck tonight. Thanks.